Hello and welcome to my channel where I do guides for post-processing software. Today we are inside on Raw 2021 and we are going to develop this image. Uh, we are just going to do the tone and color, nothing else. So let's just jump in and do this. So on this image, I'm going to check the histogram first to see if uh, I can see there are some problems with this image or to read the tonality inside this image. You can do that by checking the histogram. So make sure that you hit the button levels. If it looks like this, then hit the button levels again. And now this here where you can see the white spikes and the red spikes, blue, green spikes. This is the histogram. So to the far left, you can see that we have a bit of a spike. Uh, the histogram reads like this. On the left side, you have the blacks and the blacks is about 20% on the histogram. Then you have the shadows. Then you have the midtones. Then you have the highlights and finally on the far right side you have the whites. On this image I can see that we are not clipping or crushing the highlights or the shadows. So if I hit the J key I can confirm that. I'm now holding down my J key. Uh, by holding down the J key, you can see if you are clipping highlights or if you are crushing shadows. Uh, clipped highlights have no details whatsoever in them. Uh, crushed shadows, it's the same. It's 100% black, meaning there are no details in it. It just will, if you print, it just will print it black. If you print and you have clipped highlights, it won't print anything at all because there's no true white colors in a print. You do not want to have clipped highlights or crushed shadows, especially not if you're doing prints. Anyway, let's just start with this image. A good place to start is by hitting the AI auto button. Okay, so it didn't do too good of a job, I think. So I'm not going to start with AI auto. I'm just going to click the reset button and I'm going to tone this manually. So let's just start with a white print and a black print. So I'm going to hold down the J key. That shows us the warnings and I'm going down on the blacks. And now you can see all of the blue here. This is a warning telling us that you are now moving into 100% black. Basically, you are crushing the shadows. So the blacks is okay because your printer can actually print 100% black. Yeah, so we are going to leave it like this right now but I'm going to go up on the white point and I'm actually going to go in here so I can see what happens around this area you can probably not see it but the, we are clipping just a bit on the highlights if I move up you can see it this means there are no details in this area you can probably see it if you Watch closely here, but there is no detail. So I'm going to back down on the whites again. So backing down, backing down. Yeah, let's try around there. And then I can go down on the highlights and try and recover the highlights. So I'm going down to around there. Okay, so now we have a black point and we have a white point. So I'm going to start and tone this image now. 
obviously we have a lot of stuff going on in the shadows here on this image we have a ton of detail that we can recover in the shadows so I'm going up on the shadows up 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 one thing about going up on the shadows is that you usually bring out some noise and you make the image flat again but let's go up so if you watch the histogram you can see that we are pushing everything from the left side over to the right side so let's go up I'm going to stop around here I'm going to check the midtones just go up yeah directly when I move the midtones you can see that the image starts to be flat again so I'm going to stop around there I think I'm just gonna bring down the highlight just a bit more here and now I'm going to go down on the haze I think there might be some haze going on in the midground so I'm going down and that will also bring down or bring out some more contrast in the image so I'm going to stop around here I think right so let's go up just a bit on the contrast and up a bit on the shadows okay so this is a good starting point this is a really good starting point let's just check the before and this is the after I think I'm going to go down just a bit on the shadows maybe even a bit on the whites yeah to around there and let's check the before and let's see after yeah that's okay <clears throat> so this was shot during the golden hour actually we are pretty close to blue hour uh, but golden hour shots are usually a lot warmer than this so that tells me that there is something wrong with the white balance so I'm going to bring the white balance up just a bit just to make it warmer to so maybe around there then I'm going to move up the vibrance and I'm probably gonna add a lot of vibrance to around there okay so <clears throat> looking down here I can see that we probably have just warmed it up probably just a bit too much but there are also some green tones here it's probably hard to see for you guys but I can see that there are a lot of yellowish green type of cast here so I'm trying going to try and fix that by using the tint slider so if I move over to the left side I'm adding a green cast to this image and of course you don't want to have a green cast during a uh, golden hour so I'm going to try and add some magentas instead and I'm going up 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 this looks really close to what I saw that day it was a really pink uh, pink sunset it was, pretty strange actually but this is close to what I saw uh, I would stop there actually I wouldn't do anything more inside the tone and color module I would move over to the effects and do some work on different uh, color toning I would try to separate the colors a bit I would try and make uh, this area in the midground stand out just a bit more it's kind of dull around there 
uh, I would crop this image. Uh, there's still a lot of work left in this image. I would probably add the, uh, yeah, like a glow filter uh, and maybe dynamic contrast. And then I'm doing this really quickly here. Then it would turn out something like this. It's a bit too much. So maybe go down on the opacity on the effects there. So something like that, I will probably make it just a bit brighter. Uh, not too much though. And then slap a vignette on there. And do a big softy with the low opacity. And check before. And that's the after. Yeah, now you can see that it looks a bit too much on the colors. So I would go down on, no, let's go down on the glow instead. To around there, go back into develop, go down on the vibrance. There we are. Uh, this, I, I would do a lot more on this image, but that was just a quick example of how I would work inside the effects. Uh, yeah. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better. And that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you want to watch more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you again. Thanks a lot.